Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a mini countryman SE All 4 is called But uh, anyway, in this video we're gonna test the headlights So um, it doesn't have any matrix lights, any adaptive lights, just on and off But uh, you know, this is like the sister uh, car uh, among, uh, or along with uh, the BMW iX1 and iX3 So they have the same drivetrain, the same battery uh, many similarities, same buttons on the steering wheel and stuff. So it's basically a BMW, right? So what about the headlights? Well, let's find out. Okay, we enter the dark side and then boom! Oh, okay. It seems like they have the same awesome spread, awesome spread as uh, um, spread and and strength. I mean, as the BMW iX1, iX2. Look at that! Wow. That is incredible how strong it is. You see how far it shines, how high it shines. Wow. Chinese car manufacturers, watch and learn. So German cars, yeah, they are like this. I didn't expect anything different. Uh, so look at this. Look, here we have some trees ahead, right? Boom! <laughs> so I don't know if they use the same headlights as the iX1, iX2, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did, because this is some next level shit. Oh, so um, uh, how do I explain this? You know, on this this road is very. Uh, uh, I mean, it's perfect for these headlights you know, to showcase how good they are, because we have some twisty roads some roller coaster roads that's where you need it on a straight motorway uh, then most lights even some of the chinese lights which are more focused on the center would also work great but here with a good spread and a good strength we should be able to spot the deer well except for that there is no deer uh, yet but we'll see I, I tend to see wildlife a lot around here but yeah so really good but you see if I try this, okay, if I do this... Oh, holy crap, this car is so bold! <laughs> it's no Mini, at least, there's no go-kart here, but... Yeah, it, it doesn't turn when I do this, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't also, it doesn't focus, fo yeah, like, for example, EQS doesn't turn, but at least it will focus. If I do this, it will focus more on the direction I'm turning against. So, it doesn't have anything like that, it's just on and off. And another indication is that if you turn on and off, it will just become like this. If there's some kind of adaptive stuff, it will usually make an animation. So, yeah. But let's see, we're getting close to that farm spot where I usually check for spread and strength. So let's just get over there and see how it goes. But wow, this is wonderful to drive at night here. Oh yeah, I see the fog is already coming. This is the last night I have with the car before I have to return it tomorrow. And yeah, all the other nights it was just too foggy. I, I came out too late. I came too late, which is not always good. Uh, now it's nine in the evening. If I wait just one, two more hours, it will be too foggy. Yeah, you see slight fog already. So yeah, here we go. Uh, pretty good spread compared to there. So the farm spot, a farm uh, inspection. And then, boom! Okay, I think we're done now with that uh, section. Oh, oh, the car is also quite quick. I like it. Yeah, it's a nice beamer in a, in a in a mini shell. Well, it's not really a mini. It's, a, it's quite big for a mini, yeah. Uh, quite unlike the mini uh, Cooper S, which is a lot smaller, compact. But here is, um, it's like a... It's like a Kia Soul, you know, like a, almost like a Kia Eniro, or, or then maybe the EV3 I tested recently. Uh, I'll, I'll just check out at least. I haven't tested it thoroughly yet. But yeah, look, look, look how good spread we have here. Huh? Really good, man. Okay, it goes up a bit when you go high beam, and then it dips down when you go to low beam. But yeah, so very good this is exactly what i'm looking for you know when i do when I, what is the point of these headlight tests well i can tell you what the point is we want good headlights strong headlights so we can spot obstacles uh, when i did the 1000 kilometer challenge that just happened to be a bmw ix it has pretty good headlight but there was some problem uh, some limitation with the auto high beam it actually turned down automatically when we had street lights and then it turned oh yeah and then it turned on a little bit late but anyway um uh, 
normally when you drive on twisty road like this uh, you might uh, find or, or might not see wildlife so with good headlights you can spot animals or anything or other danger in time with poor headlights I even seen it in my own test that <laughs> there were animals by the road that they didn't see when I filmed the video but then I saw it afterwards like whoa oh there was something there I didn't see it but here we are looking for good spread to the side and also uh, shine up in case we go drive on some roller coaster road then you can it will shine up towards the road we're going so uh, if I would give this uh, headlights uh, score well okay it doesn't get any adaptive uh, matrix stuff uh, turning whatever but uh, uh, it just shines so nice and bright uh, almost brighter than many other adaptive headlights so uh, maybe a, a good seven or eight I'm not sure yeah it just gets minus point for the adaptive maybe eight Do you guys agree it is incredible oh man it is so good that you almost don't need a uh, lead bar yeah okay anyway I think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later